Hey guys, this is Matt from Self Made Renegade. And once you're done watching this video, you're gonna know how to go from a dead end job like barista or bartender to your dream job in one week or less. <laughs> So this is called the skill bridge technique, and the basic idea is that you're going to convince your boss to give you a new job title that's going to put you on a completely separate career path uh, that ultimately leads to where you want to go. So this is a three-step process, and the first step is to identify the problems, challenges, and opportunities at your current company. So here's how you do this. There's kind of three areas you want to look at. The first area is emotions. So look at the emotions of your boss and how you can impact that. That's, it could be a problem where maybe there's something that's really tedious for your boss and you're going to identify that as a problem. Maybe your boss needs excitement in their life and you're gonna create a new exciting initiative at the company. The second area is money you increase revenue or decrease costs there's so many different ways you can do it but you know that's always a problem in any company maybe you see an area where there's an inefficiency and by fixing that efficiency you're gonna buy less office supplies and therefore save money can i decrease costs or increase revenue that's the second place and the third area where you can find problem challenges and opportunities is in relationships this could be relationships between the boss and the employees it could be between company and customers. It could be between employees and each other. The important thing is that if you can improve relationships, that's a real big value add to the company. Step two is to identify the skills and job title that you need. What I ask you to do is go and look up that job title that you want on LinkedIn or on Monster.com. And guess what? Companies have very helpfully listed all the skills you need to get that job title the job listing will have a list of the skills. So list those out. Now you have a list of the problems, challenges, and opportunities at the company. You also have a list of the skills that you need to cultivate in order to get your dream job. Here's step number three. This is where the magic happens. You're gonna create a document that bridges the skills you want with those problems, challenges, and opportunities that you've identified at the company. So how can you solve the problems, challenges, and opportunities of the company using the skills you want to create? And there's three things I want you to remember when you're creating that document. The first one is to be to the point. This doesn't mean be short. I've seen documents that are less than a page. I've also seen documents that are 12 or 13 pages. But what was important is that every word on those pages went back to getting your boss or whoever you're presenting this document to to say, yes, please solve this problem for me. The second thing I want you to do is focus on the benefits, not the features. And what that means is that you have all these skills you're going to use and you're probably really excited. Don't focus on that. Focus over here on the problems you're going to solve. This document is 80% focused on here's the results I'm going to get and 20% focused on here's how I'm going to get those results. So that's tip number two is focus on the benefits, not the features. Tip number three is focus on getting to yes. You might really want uh, better hours or better pay for these new responsibilities uh, That's important. It's not as important as just getting them to say yes, please take on this project Please please take on this new role. The important thing is that you've qualitatively changed your career path You just you haven't just gone up in your current barista role in your current bartender role in your current cashier role You've actually shifted your career trajectory now you are a community manager or a nonprofit liaison, something that is qualitatively different from where you were before. So just a quick recap. Step number one is you're going to identify problems, challenges, and opportunities in three areas of emotions, money, and relationship. Step two is you're going to use Monster.com and LinkedIn to identify the skills and job title that you really want. And step three, is you're going to create a document that bridges those problems, challenges, and opportunities with the skills and job titles you want. And you're going to make sure that document 
is to the point, focused on benefits, and focuses on getting to yes, even if you need to give up some of the stuff you might ultimately want. If you want to download an example of one of these documents, have that below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Catch you on the flip side.